get ready with me to sign up for the military. I'm signing up for the military because I know my cat-like instincts would be very helpful in combat. And because I think Bakas look super cute in a military uniform. I'll be frolicking around in a pink uniform, though. If they're not okay with me wearing pink, they're gonna have to deal with my kitty wrath. <laughs> Now that I've ruined your morning and ruined your evening, whatever it is with your daily dose of cringe. There has been a couple of updates on the George Not Found Guilty case. Last month I made a video about a huge YouTuber accused of doing haram things. Where this 18 year old Kathy Bugs came out and spoke about an uncomfortable situation that she's been in. She started crying and saying one of these big YouTubers did some haram things on me. And then people put two and two together and they found out that huge YouTuber that was accused of these things was George Not Found. But many people failed to realize that the only thing George was guilty of was his Minecraft Riz. The whole group that they're hanging out with Dream, George Not Found, these Minecraft the Roblox players. What do you think when they spend every day on YouTube and on Roblox and Minecraft? What do you expect to happen when they go into society? They might close deals in Minecraft, but they will definitely not be closing any deals with any girl. IRL maybe if the girl is into Minecraft maybe they'll work in a weird way they'll be I don't know scissoring something like that but to basically sum it up these Minecraft they were at VidCon last year it was George not found on a couple of his friends it was Kath Kathy and a couple of her friends the first night they met up at the hotel nothing happened the second night of VidCon almost the last day of VidCon they all decided to gather up at George Not Found's hotel so they all started to drink and that is the time where Katie came and said that that night was the most horrifying night of her life she could not breathe she was felt really uncomfortable she felt really disgusted with herself but she what she really was disgusted was by his riz because while they were sitting on couch these two people cuddling and spooning this is where katie says she felt really uncomfortable is where <sighs> mr minecraft started tickling her now there's many kinks out in the world that i don't understand some people like armpits some people like feet feet i will never understand my friend it's disgusting but tickling is a thing as well i've seen some videos where people go and sit down they're like tickle me i'll pay you money and how does it work? You tickle each other or you get tickled and you're like, holy shit, I'm coming. How do I don't get it. Maybe it's a way to turn yourself on or whatever, but whoever comes near to tickle me, I'm very ticklish. Just be aware. If you see me in public, you try to tickle me, you're going to get elbowed. Long story short, after a while, Katie comes out and spoke about this whole thing. George also made a response that said like, oh no, Katie made it seem like they, they've been taking advantage of, came in strong as a 18 year old, you know, like crying girl who's been into a very traumatic experience. And George responded that none of this is true. Yes, the age gap was big between us, but I was getting signals. I was getting the vibe. And let me correct on some of the, th you know, some truth came out about the case, about the last video that I made. Let me correct some of the stuff. First of all, shout out to Lyrics for making this a long ass 46 minute full of context and details, which probably took him six months to make video this is one of the girls that was with katie that night this is katie's friend who spoke about the situation um went back to the hotel and that's where we came from um it was a 16 hour party no one drank um people claimed that we came to the hotel having already drank we didn't we didn't um we went back to the hotel didn't drink went to their hotel room and that's when we started to drink at the time all of us girls were already really drunk from the party we were coming from stumbling and everything no one drank now there's many points like this in the video that lyrics made they said oh we were already drunk we came and they forced us to drink more so we'll play a truth and there and they'll be taking advantage of us nothing was like that and apparently this came out as well the next day where a friend of katie messaged her and said hey buddy i wanted to double check with you that george didn't make you uncomfortable at all last night bro definitely knew about george's uh, tickling kink or whatever it was why are youtubers into some weird stuff i saw every youtuber has a weird kink except me I mean, you don't want to really know my kink. You're probably going to unsubscribe. Anyways, 
I saw he was getting really touchy with you, so I just wanted to double check. Maybe? Bro, I have no clue. Like, in the moment, I was chilling, but thinking back on it, I'm sweating a little bit. Like, damn. And especially after verifying. So, he knew I was 18. I also didn't know I was chilling at the moment because I was drunk. And she came up on the video. If you guys saw that she went full on, like, I couldn't breathe in that moment. She, she said a lot of specific details about the situation and if a person doesn't really rem ch was chilling in the moment and was drunk they wouldn't remember this much detail about it my best guess they were only chilling on the couch things were actually going good and katie would have never even came out and spoke anything about this till the moment the second george not found george started tickling her now, Katie has been going left and right with posting messages, posting threats, posting DMs, posting all these things, trying to bring George Not Found down for some reason. We still don't know the reason because she was chilling in the moment. But why is she attacking him all of a sudden? But two weeks ago, out of nowhere, she just went private. This is her Twitter page where everything is deleted and she's also private. This is her Twitch page where she posted the main, like, the long clips that she talked about the situation. And if you go in her Twitch right now, the last video that was, you know, uploaded was five months ago. Everything else is deleted. Now, does that mean that one is guilty and one is innocent? No. The whole thing is a misunderstanding. Because you can't tell me that you're chilling, drunk on a couch with this youtuber that you are a fan of and then months and months later you come you can't tell me it's out of guilt months and months later you come out and you're like he did this to me i am a girl who's crying in front of the camera so you must believe me also it cannot be that she wanted some clout on her page because she's private now if it was then it's fucking backfired so her intentions are still unclear now like i said the internet is like gotham city basically Everyone would like to see it. Wait. Everyone would like to see a hero rise, but they would love to see a hero fall. Two face from Batman Dark Knight rises. More of the story, people love to see huge YouTubers, huge content creators failing. That's one of the reasons we talk about it because, you know, you guys are so interested in the drama and you love this shit. Katie came in strong with strong details. Then her things were debunked. Then George made, it, made a response about it, correcting her. And then George went quiet because he said all he had to say. And one of the reasons is maybe Katie deleting this stuff is because she knew that she could not prove any further and the you know the proof that were coming out her friends were you know speaking up about the situation they were not being really that supportive and things were not looking good for katie so the reason she went private on socials and deleted the videos the best guess this literally a kid can guess this is because she didn't want to get a defamation uh, lawsuit now the misunderstanding in this situation was they were chilling on the couch Bro started using his weird uh, Riz techniques by tickling her, making her comfortable. They were cuddling. There were signs. If she was dying, could not breathe, move. Say stop. What are you doing, bro? Get away. Yeah, you might think, oh, he's a cool guy because he has 10 million subscribers. Who cares? If you're uncomfortable, say move, bro. But I guess she was just chilling in the situation and she stayed there suffering for I mean, one hour, I mean, haram, you know, painful as that. And a lot of per people are coming out and saying, oh, that is illegal what happened. That is, the age gap is disgusting and illegal. It's disgusting, but not illegal. Yes, there are still teenagers, there are still kids. What do you think? And the 18 is the legal age because you are old enough to make your own decisions. Now, yes, if a 30 year old hooks up with the 18 year old, is it illegal? No. Is it disgusting? Yes. So people coming out and saying, oh my god, ew, 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 disgusting, oh my god, illegal, jail, jail, doesn't work like that until they force themselves on a person. And in that case, age doesn't really matter. Just It's just illegal in, in general. I look forward to see what other YouTubers get exposed for their kings. But I think with this drama, that's it. Katie's just gonna go, you know, 
offline for a while then she's gonna come back think people and people are gonna forget about the drama and that's about it george is gonna go play his minecraft and forget about girls after that one incident and yeah that's that's about it the whole drama is done anyways so i wanted to update you about the situation but yeah take care of yourself i'll see you at the next one